We interrupt this broadcast for some breaking news. <laughs> as long as I have been doing this show, I have been looking to talk to somebody who can point me in the right direction where I can be talking to ladies who talk just like this lady I got on the black market with me today. J.O.N., we are in for a real treat. I feel like this would be the definition of self-love for a man. Mm. Yes. I like that. So I got to ring I this like bell. That. I like that. And let the entire world know that the black market is open and the situation is about to change. Oh, God. How's it changing, love? For the better. For the better. <laughs> That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all don't be reading nothing. They ain't got the right people to tell them where to go get this information, mm. J-O-N. Mm. Now, this lady that I have in here today, after seeing what she does and reading her expressions, her, her book, I would like to call this lady a close personal friend. <laughs> <laughs> somebody I have the utmost respect for. Huh. Somebody that I admire dearly. Just mm. yes, Out here changing the world. <laughs> One page mm. at a time. None other than Miss CJ Ryder. How are you? I'm awesome and amazing. How are you? Awesome and amazing. Now, As before usual. we even get into this book, I just want to know how you feeling. Oh, I feel wonderful. Great. Yeah. Great. How's life treating you? Awesome Good. and amazing. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Nothing but the best for you. Yeah. I, I live a pretty good life. Now tell these people why I love you so much. This book right here. Tell them. Well, you, because I wrote a book called How to Eat a Banana? Yes. That's yes. why you love me so much. That's why. Because I'm um, encouraging women to approach oral pleasure with a different mindset. That's, that's what I do. Now y'all see why. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all see why. Keep going. You, this is about you. I'm just okay. here to hold your product today. Oh, it ain't well. nothing I want to say. <laughs> oh. Because you, you know I what teach to say. Women, I, I, um, I teach women how to suck dick. Say what now? I teach women how to suck dick. Turn the music off. Because I ain't, I, ain't, <laughs> I ain't hear that part. That last part. Mm. You, you teach heard what women. I said. Yes. I do. Okay. Um, because there's a difference. Okay, so like, there's a difference in living with a man who is sexually frustrated and living with a man who gets his dick sucked on a regular basis. See, even women can tell the difference. Well, because a person who's sexually frustrated is usually grumpy, surly, they have attitude, yes. short-tempered, yes. easily agitated. Yes. But a man who is relaxed and at ease is more pleasant to be around and more accommodating. So it's like sucking your man's dick is not like a task or a chore. I it's I actually a, a like benefit. <laughs> no, no, it's actually a benefit for you because it, it kind of gives you a certain power the power to make him calm and happy and at ease. So and women that can really tell the difference. Like they know better. when a man like need his dick sucked. Oh, I don't know. I know when my man needs his sucked, uh, but the book teaches you how to properly communicate with your partner so that you learn to relieve his stress. Mm -hmm. So that you guys become on a let's see, you get on a, a different kind of level of communicating. What made you write the book? I was broke and I needed some money. Oh. 
Who told you you suck dick good? My ex. Good enough to write the book on? Yes. Okay, so I used to be um, an adult entertainer. I used to be a, a stripper. For real? Mm-hmm. I was a stripper in my 20s. Okay. And during that time, I got to talk to a lot of men. So they would tell me the things that they were going through at home, and it just made sense. Like, a lot of times women don't know how to communicate with men. They communicate with their men like they communicate with their homegirls, but that's not the way men listen. So if you learn to properly communicate with your man, he listens and he actually wants to please, because most men don't want to be combative with the woman that they love. They don't want to be confrontational. They just want you to tell them what's wrong so they can fix it. But a lot of times we don't know how to express what's wrong without being overly emotional. Mm, mm, so mm, mm. that's part of it. Like, so the whole book isn't just about sucking dick. It was a catchy title, like how to eat a banana. It's more so about mindset and changing your mindset and how you communicate with your spouse or with your partner. You ain't have to even twist it up for me. You could have just left it at that part. I'm just saying, that's... You could have just left it. That's how it yeah, is. That's a whole nother book. Just suck dick in this book. No, it's not just <laughs> suck dick in Don't this book. Don't communicate with me. Suck some dick. Well, that's how you communicate with your partner. You damn right. <laughs> exactly. Mm, mm, mm. So it becomes more of a benefit for what you was your than inspiration? it is for him. The inspiration was making some money off of some knowledge that I had that was in my head. So I put it on paper mm. and sell it to other people mm. so that they can have the same knowledge. If it's 30 days in a month, how, how many times should, you, should a man get his dicks up? Um, I would say at least 20 times out of that month. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have no sisters or nothing. You married? I, you married? <laughs> No, we I've been proposed to six times. <laughs> I, know, I don't know what's next for you, but I feel like you're gonna win at least like a Nobel Peace Prize or something. Uh, well. <laughs> your work, your research is so needed and necessary, and I feel like I wish this platform was bigger so more people could hear you. Mm. Your message is powerful. Mm -hmm. I believe in what you're selling out here. Now, where is this book available? I feel like it's this. It's on Amazon, Kindle, Audible. Um, I hired a voice actress to uh, record it for me. So you can get an Audible. You can listen to it while you're in the car. I actually created a master class where I'm instructing. So if you don't want to read it, if you need some more hands-on or interactive learning, you can enroll at Ryder University. It's my oral pleasure master course you got a whole master course mm -hmm. wow yep well you know what you can stop through here and promote this type of shit anytime you want to you need a key no, <laughs> no <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> but where can they find you on social media and all of those um great you things can like follow that. me at i am cj rider and that's rider with a y on all platforms so Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube. You gonna write some more books? Mm-hmm. I'm writing How to Eat a Peach now so that you guys can figure out how to if communicate with any, women. If you need any like input, holler at me. I'm looking for a voice actor to actually um, record it. Cause Which, I, what did you need? To record it, the book. Like, I have a woman that's speaking for this one. I'm not sure if I should have a woman speaking for How to Eat a Peach or a man because the book is, is for a man. So I don't know if a man, if men want, do you, do men want to hear a man telling them or do you want to hear a woman telling you how to eat a peach? A woman, really. You really want to hear a woman, so I might just hire her back. Just hire her back. Yeah. Yeah. It's believable. I mean, I don't know. How, like, I wanted to hear a woman. I didn't want to hear a man telling me how Not unless he eat the pussy right then, then start recording it. Like, if he eat some pussy right before he start, because it's belief. Men have to be convinced that this shit is real. Like, that's why they, well, like everybody said a woman, mm -hmm. because ain't nobody going to be like, bro, when the last time you ate some pussy? Mm -hmm. Like, it got to happen. <laughs> like, if you convince him, then it'll go. Okay. He'll be like, I just finished eating the pussy. Chapter one. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Got you. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with her. All right. Well, look, 
we appreciate you stopping through today mm -hmm. and blessing us with this magnificent book, How to Eat a Banana. I suggest all the ladies go out and get it. It's a quick read. I would suggest you read it multiple times and take some notes. There's space in here for you to make your own notes. A few blank pages in the, bl in the back where you can just write your own notes. And she give you a nice list of nasty shit that you can start saying if you done ran out of freaking shit to say. So, well, it's the mindset. Talking, well, talking dirty to your partner actually enhances the experience. So it helps them Ooh, keep this his climax. You, you say some shit like this, y'all probably gonna make a baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the baby maker right there. I, I didn't say it that one before. <laughs> Woo! It's just a starter. Because there's a, I have another book called The Art of Talking Dirty, um, The Power of the Tongue. And it goes more in depth about talking dirty to your spouse and building anticipation. Woo! Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to keep one of these in here at all the time. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is going to be a great team builder. And I suggest all the people who go out and, you know, get books that like couples therapy. Yeah. Throw this one on the bottom. Well, it's in the sexual health section. That's where you find it. I know, but I'm saying if they need, they need to put that over there on like rebuild. This will build a family right here. It keeps families together. This can pretty much bring violence down to a point that it ain't been in since like the 80s. Oh, I get Telling it. Telling you. Yeah. The power is in the tongue. Miss C.J. Ryder, anytime you, when you finish the book, How to Eat a Peach, mm -hmm. and whatever come after that, Please come, come back. back. Thank you. And tell us all about it. Jay and the black market is open. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs>